Flash Forward Issue 6. Uh, I will say this. Flash Forward Issue 6 is mercifully not a long read. It, you know, it went in pretty quickly. Um, it, it felt nice to have skipped most of the book. <laughs> it felt nice to just sort of jump in, because it's basically Wally spending one last perfect day with his kids, with Jay and Irie, who have just, so he's just found kind of in the multiverse or whatever. Uh, and Tempest is like, no, you've got, you've got to take this position on the Morbius chair. you got to do this. And... You know, it's it, it, it's it's one of those things where I didn't quite get like what age the kids were supposed to be in this comic because I assumed coming into it that they were going to be just kind of where they left off. But I think Brett Booth's art was just a little bit weird because they were, they were still talking like they were the same age as before. But I swear, I, I Iris looked like she was like fifteen, sixteen. So that was there was like a disconnect there that wasn't quite working for me. Uh, and the way the way they spoke was definitely still kiddy though. Uh, where Wally's like, ah, oh, you forget the tickle monster, and Iris is like, yeah, yeah, let me at him, Dad. Like, it, all of it felt like very young and kiddy, uh, dialogue wise. Uh, but basically, he's spending this one happy day, and he, he asked Tempest to make sure he gets them home to, you know, to, to Linda, which is kind of the, the, the sort of happier ending that side of the book where you see her get her memories back, and she's with her kids, and they're all happy to be together. But Wally has given up his life to be on the chair, and he's merged with whatever Manhattan put in the chair, uh, with the chair itself, where he's like, no, we we used to be Wally West, we used to be the Mobius chair, but now we are something new. We are some, we are someone else, we are something else. Uh, and it says, to be contained in Flash 750, which we did read that story, and of course it's yeah, meant to, it to go into Generation Zero next, which <laughs> obviously... We'll see where that goes. Conveniently, isn't happening now without free mm-hmm. public day. So, yeah, we'll you see. know, there's been one of my friends put up a post today about what's your favorite global pandemic conspiracy theory, <laughs> and I just remembered that should have been mine. Is that DC did this to not have to do? You know, an, I'm an sure an they're going to blame DDO. To, excuse to 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 fix yep. whatever the yeah. mess they were in. The, the the other big thing that's in the issue is that he he. Uh, <sighs> So, so the the dark multiverses always only exist for a, a small period of time because they're basically the worst case scenarios or the worst mm-hmm. nightmares of a of a world. But the idea is, is that and this is stuff that I didn't understand completely because I assume this is what the rest of the, the book went into, and I'm just getting the tail end of this. Mm-hmm. But the what the dark multiverse that was created or the dark world that was created from Wally's nightmare because Wally's so connected to the speed force that instead of dying the world keeps healing itself quicker than it can die or something like that it it didn't make a whole lot of sense to me i didn't understand why his world was operating under the same logic of his like powers or his body it could have been the worlds that haven't felt like that for anyone else or any other dark multiverse we've seen but whatever uh yeah. that that was the thing but basically he by by he has to sort of help kill this world and you know he does that by sitting in the chair uh, so that was the other big thing in the in the book that it was was brought up for the most part though it was him saying goodbye to his kids him sort of asking tempest to like send them to, to their mom and then him just sort of saying yes i'm now this new being and i will take on whatever he's got the manhattan text uh boxes which we saw in uh mm-hmm. yeah, flash of 50 uh booth's art is booth's art like i say the kids look too old for given how how yeah. they're talking uh you know, not not super fun. Um, you know, they do this thing where Linda's got a flash shirt on and she's got a flash logo on her phone. Even though we don't really, I mean, we barely know this version of Linda, right? I mean, maybe she was in this book more yeah. before this issue, but well, there was a version of her that had speed powers too, from the amalgam like crossover universe. I I remember looking that up. Yeah, but um, is that relevant to what Rebirth Linda is? Or you know what? Linda... No, but there was but. I think they merged at some point, if I remember reading something, because it said, who's this new character? Um, and it was Godspeed and Linda combined. So, who knows? It's, you know. <laughs> yeah, so, I, you know, it's Brett Booth art. Down to the way the, the way they're all smelling, the way the, the heads feel a bit lankier in places, uh, all the things that you you. you like, but for some reason, while he's smirking at the end of this, you know, when he's like, oh, you know, it's a new me, and he has the smirk in his face, and I'm like, why are you smirking? I thought you're like this entity now that's kind of, sort of beyond emotion. Because it even says at one point that there's no emotions anymore. You know, he's like, because after the kids are back with Linda, you see him kind of watching, and then he sort of closes the little hologram in his hand, 
as if like you know he's done with this now he's, he's had the happy well, ending apparently smirking doesn't count as emotions i mean why would you smirk if you don't have emotions speed force because, bro because it's badass and everyone knows that uh-huh. yeah sure uh yeah, so, that's what i think of wally west as badass yeah <laughs> It wasn't completely punishing because it, at least it went in quite quickly. It didn't feel like it dragged. Mm-hmm. There was a lot of two page spreads and those those a ups and pages, which was That's nice. That's good. That's good. No. That's yes. Nothing. I mean, as far as the rating goes, it's like a four, a, a, maybe a five, yeah. a stretch. I, I don't know. It's it's hard to judge without the context of the previous issues, though. Mm-hmm.